Okay, today we are going to um, talk about calibrating the Panasonic FR2200. I think I've got the camera set now. Um, I don't know if you have one and don't know how to do this, or if you're thinking about buying uh, a 2200 um, and would like to know how it works. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough on how I calibrate the shortwave bands. The calibration does not work on the FM or the AM bands, only on the shortwave bands. Now this is the main tuning band and it's typical of any analog radio and needs really no explanation. This silver dial that's connected to the tuning dial is the band spread dial and it is directly related to the main tuning dial. So if we, let's turn, tune to say 10,000 kilohertz and we put it on zero on the, the uh, band spread dial, um, you'll see that they are lined up. And when we turn to 100 on the band spread dial, then we are at 10,100 on the main dial. We go to 150, 200, now we're at 10,200, 10,250, and so on. That is the relationship between these two dials. The band spread dial um, goes f around um, to 1,000 kilohertz. So if you, for example, if you go from 10,000 to 10,500, you've gone halfway around the band spread dial. If you go to 11,000 kilohertz, you will have gone all the way around the um, band spread dial. So um, let's go back to uh, 10,000 kilohertz. It doesn't matter where you are, really. Um, we're going to talk now about the actual calibration. Um, they, there are little clicks, little, little notches, I guess you'd say, on the uh, band spread dial. Um, that you engage to to calibrate um, the band spread. Um, so um, there are two controls that do that um, that engage the uh, the marker. There's a 500 uh, calibration marker which uh, works at zero and at 500, which are the opposite sides of the dial. And then there are also um, notches every 125 kilohertz. So like right here, there's one, and this is engaged with this dial. So I'm going to turn the radio on. Uh, we're going to go to 10,000, um, but I've got the volume off because I don't want to hear the calibration tone at this time. What I want to show you is when you want to uh, calibrate using the 5000 marker. I want you just to listen for the click when it engages. We hold it down, which is spring loaded so it doesn't stay uh, up, I mean, stay down. Um, so now we click, you hear how it engaged, and now you notice when I'm tuning the dial, this does not move, but this does, the upper dial does move because you're changing the relationship as you calibrate. So let's do that again. I want you to hear the click. So we'll put it here, engage the marker, hear the click, that's what you're looking for. Now if we want to use the 125 uh, marker, then that one stays down, but you always have to use the 500 to engage it. So I just want you to hear the click again. See? That's where you're engaged. Okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to listen to the crystal marker tones. So we're going to turn the volume up. Now there are false tones and then stations that will cause you to be confused. So when you are using, when you are listening to the correct uh, marker tone, the crystal marker tone, um, the needle on your S meter will. Uh, go all the way to 10. So we're going to depress the uh, the marker, engage, now see, listen, I want you to just listen to the tones, 
There's a high and a low tone. See, now in the middle is called zero beat. And now we are absolutely tuned to 10,000 kilohertz. Well, not quite, it's still buzzing just a little. It takes a little touch. Okay, now if you're just tuning somewhere, we're in a 31 meter band, doesn't matter where, and you hear a station that you'd like to know exactly what the frequency is, um, depress the 125 kilohertz button, then depress the 500, and then just move it back and forth until you find where it engages, and listen for your tone, and make sure your needle is all the way to 10. And then the way I be sure, I'm sure that I'm perfectly tuned, when you raise the 500, if you hear a tone, you're not quite on it. So we do it again. And now it's dead silent. And the radio is absolutely perfectly tuned and I don't hear a station right now, but if you did and you tuned to that station, you could look at your band spread dial and you would be dead on exactly on the frequency, just as accurate as if this was a digital radio. So it just takes a little practice um, once you get the, the hang of it. Um, you'll have a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.